Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, this tutorial is going to be dedicated to the Hat Not Hate um, program. Uh, and that is basically um, the blue hats, right? And it's to help support um, the no bullying so uh, the whole idea is to crochet a blue hat and if you're doing a variegated hat then it has to be at least 70 percent blue and then you can send it to the organization and they will give it to a bunch of children and to um, demonstrate the anti-bullying campaign so I will leave that link down below. And so here we go. Hi everybody, it's Sandy. I am going to show you how to make this beautiful hat. Uh, I am using facet stones, uh, loops and threads, facet stones. Unfortunately, this is a discontinued yarn, but you can use any four weight yarn you want. Okay, this color is lapis. All right, um, I'm also going to be using a 6.5 millimeter hook. Okay, so let's get started. Now you, we're gonna start with the traditional beanie, um, beanie start. You can start this any way you want. I do a magic circle. Um, if you don't want to do magic circle, that's fine. Just do your um, your chain three or chain four, and then do ten uh, double crochets in the loop. Okay, but if you're going to do the magic circle, you just wrap it around twice, around your finger twice. Go under that loop, grab the other loop, pull it through. Then go under again, grab it, and pull it through. Okay, and there's your circle. Okay, now you're going to chain up two. And you're going to start doing your ten double crochets in your loop. Okay. You're going to try really hard to stay in the camera uh, view. <laughs> I have a hard time with that sometimes. But don't we all when we're making videos? Okay, uh, I lost count. What have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I don't count that first chain. Okay. Uh, so seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, slip stitch to the first chain and chain two. Now you can pull your pull your um, string to tighten it up. We'll weave that in later. Okay. Now we're going to double crochet into the same uh, space as this chain, like that. And then we're going to do two double crochet in each chain or each um, space. Okay, so that's one, two. Can you tell I haven't done a tutorial in a while? <laughs> I'm all tongue tied. So two double crochet in each stitch. That's the word I'm trying to find. Ok, 
time. So two double crochet in each stitch. And I'll meet you on the when you finish the round. Okay, so I finished this round and you should have 20 um, stitches in this round. Then we're going to slip stitch and chain two. Okay, and that's what you should should have. Oh, I gotta get some more yarn. Okay, now we're going to do the um, into the first or the same chain. Whoops, Ugh, getting all tangled. Do a double crochet in the same chain chain space, same <laughs> stitch as the first double crochet, okay? And then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, Two double crochet in the next stitch. So we're going to be doing that repeat, that two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. Okay. So two, one, two, one, two. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way around, and you should have 30 stitches. Okay, and I will meet you at the end. Okay, I'm all the way to the other end. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have one stitch left. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. That, hang on, I'll bring you in a little bit more. Right here is a false stitch. Now, you're going to take your um, crochet hook and you're going to put it into that false stitch. Okay? And you're going to do your last double crochet. Okay? And then this is what you should have. And that will give you your 30 stitches. And then you slip stitch and chain two. Okay? Bring me back out a little bit. There we go. So that is what you should have so far. Okay. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, in your next round, you're going to do similar. You're going to go into that first stitch, or the same stitch. You're going to put a double crochet. Then you're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to do one double crochet. Go into the next stitch, do one double crochet, and go into the next stitch and do two double crochets. Repeat that one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets. Okay, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. You're going to do that all the way around. Do that all the way around, and you should have 40 stitches. Okay, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, 
So I'm at the end. I've got two stitches left. I'm going to do the one stitch. Now we're going to go back into that false stitch. Okay. There. And then we're going to slip stitch to join. Yep. And chain two. Okay. That's what you should have so far. I need some more yarn. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start our next row. What are we on? One, two, three, four. Now we're fifth row. Okay. Going to do the same as always. We're going to go into the first or the same stitch and do double crochet. Then we're going to go into the next stitch and do one double crochet. Go into the next stitch, do one double crochet. Go into the next stitch, do one double crochet. Go into the next stitch and do two double crochet. Are you seeing a pattern here? <laughs> oh. Okay. And the next stitch is one double crochet. And then next stitch is one double crochet. Next stitch is one double crochet. And I have some yarn. <laughs> next stitch is two double crochets. Okay, see? Two, one, one. Oops. No, that's right. <laughs> two, one, 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 two. One, 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 two. Okay. Let's do that again. One. The next stitch. One. And the next stitch. One double crochet. Whoops. And the next stitch, two double crochet. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to do that. Two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, all the way around to the end. And I will see you when you get back. Okay. So I'm finished this round and I have one more stitch. And again, we're going to go into that false stitch to finish this round. Yeah, slip stitch and chain two. Now at this point, um, I'm going to put a picture in here to show you the diameter of the different size of hats, whether it's a child or an adult, um, a, a, like a female or a male. Um, the diameter of your circle to begin could be different. Okay, the um, the bigger the diameter, of course, the bigger the hat. All right, so I'll put that um, that picture in here. Okay, so this is where I'm going to stop the beanie. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Because I'm using, excuse me, because I'm using such a big hook, uh, this it makes the the diameter um, the right size. If I was using a smaller hook and a smaller yarn, then the diameter would be different, and you'd end up having to do more rows. Okay. So now we're just going to do. We're gonna. Oops, I'll bring you in a little bit more here. Now we're going to um, not put a stitch in that first stitch like we usually do. We're just going to move on and we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch around. 
and that will start to curve the hat. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to continue this all the way around. Okay, and I will meet you over here. All right, I've done my double crochets all the way around, and you should have 50 stitches. Okay, now you're not going to go into that false uh, stitch anymore. Okay, now we're just going to um, slip stitch to join and chain two. Sorry if you can hear any banging. We're having a bit of a windstorm here. So, um, okay, now we're going to do three double crochets in the same stitch. So, um, we're going to count this as number one. We're going to do two and three. So, we're going to have a cluster of like a granny kind of idea going on here. Okay, now you're going to skip two stitches and you're going to put three double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then we're going to skip two, go into your third stitch and do three double crochet. Okay. Skip two. Go into your third and do three double crochet. And this is going to be the repeat pattern for this round. Skip two. Go into the third do three double crochet. Okay, and this is how it should be looking. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing that all the way to the end, and I will meet you back here. Okay, I'm at the end of the row, and I'm going to slip stitch to join chain two. Okay. Now your hat should start to curve. Okay. All right. Now, whoops. Now the fun part starts. Now we're going to do, this is going to be your first double crochet. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. The next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. And then, oops, the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. Next stitch, a double crochet. Next stitch, a single crochet. Next stitch, a double crochet. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can put a stitch marker in that first stitch, which I think I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to put, whoops, my stitch marker in the first stitch. Okay, next stitch is a single crochet, next stitch is a double crochet. 
And then you're going to just whoops, continue that all the way around. Okay, and I will see you at the end. Okay, we're at the end of the row and we ended with a single crochet. So we'll take out our stitch marker. And we are going to go to the top of our chain three that we started. I'm going to slip stitch into that chain and chain two. Okay, all right. Now we're going to do one row of double crochet all the way around. Okay, just easy peasy double crochet all the way around in each stitch. Okay. do that all the way around and I will meet you at the end. Okay I'm at the end of this round. I'm going to slip stitch to join and chain two. Okay now this next round you know some people don't like doing this stitch but I find that it really pronounces the the line that you're going to get and it gives a really cool effect so it's the uh, double crochet in the back loop okay so sometimes I go in the third loop and um, sometimes I just go in the back loop now for those of you that know how to crochet you already know this for those of you that are beginners um, the stitch has two sides to it, a back and a front. Okay, we're going to be going in here. So you're going to put your uh, yarn over, you're going to put your hook through here, pull up your loop, and do your double crochet. Okay, now what I like to do, just so it uh, doesn't pull really hard on your um, back loop is when you put your hook in and pull up your loop I like to put my finger over top of it and hold it on the back and the front okay and then finish your double crochet that way it won't really pull your stitch okay so we're just going to do double crochets all the way around, but do them in the back loop. Okay, put your crochet hook in. And double crochet. Go into that back loop. Double crochet. <coughs> Go into that back loop. That back loop. Pull it up. And double crochet. So you see this ridge that's happening? It's really cool. Okay, the back loop, pull it up. Okay, now if I'm going too fast for you, there is um, an option on here to slow your speed down. So Okay, go into the back loop, pull up your yarn, hold on to it, and finish your double crochet. Okay, now we're going to do this all the way around. Okay. 
Okay. And I will see you at the other side. Okay, I'm finished this round. I'm going to slip stitch that first double crochet and we are going to chain up two. Okay, you see this nice little ridge? All right, now we're going to go back and we're going to redo this round. Okay, so we're going to do two double crochets into this same stitch. Oops, let's try that again. So then we have three stitches. Skip two, go into the third. <coughs> three more. Okay, skip two, go into the third, and do three double crochets. Get more yarn. Skip two, go into the third, do three double crochets. And then we're going to do this all the way around. And I'll meet you when we get back to the end. Okay, I'm at the end of this row. And I'm going to reach over and slip stitch into the first set of double crochets. Chain two. And now we're going to go back and we're going to do the um, double crochets in the back loops so that we get that ridge again. Okay, so go into the back loop and double crochet. Go into the, whoops, back loop, hold on to it, and finish your double crochet. Go into the back loop, hold on to it, and double crochet. Go into the back loop, and double crochet. Okay, we're going to continue to do this all the way around. Okay, so we're going to continue this all the way around. And I will see you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of this round. I'm going to, oops, slip stitch. If I can get my hook in here. <laughs> slip stitch to join. I'm going to chain two. And now we're just going to do a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay. Just real easy peasy. I call this my relaxation round. Because it's just a mindless round that you can just do and not think about it. We're almost done, guys. Almost done.
Okay, so we're just going to double crochet all the way to the end, and I will see you when you get there. Okay, I'm at the end of the round. I'm going to slip stitch to join. And at this point, you can try your hat on and see how it fits. Okay, oops, I'll take you out a little bit here. Oops, sorry guys. Okay, and then you can try it on, see how it fits. If it come, you want it to come, at this point you want it to come down to about from the top of your ear to the middle of your ear, somewhere in there. Okay, because now, excuse me, now we're going to do the brim. Okay, so, all right. So now you're going to chain up two. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. And you're going to do a front post and a back post. Okay, now, here we go. Now this is your post. You're going to put you're going to yarn over and you're going to put your hook in behind that post. You're going to grab your yarn and pull it through. So you're going to have your three loops on your hook. And then you're going to do your double crochet. Okay? Now Here's your post. You're going to go, be, you're going to yarn over. You're going to go behind and go behind that um, stitch. Pull up your yarn and do your double crochet. Now I know <clears throat> for you beginners, this can be a little confusing. Okay, but really, once you get the hang of it, it will be no problem. Okay, yarn over. Go to the front of that loop or that um, post. Yarn over, pull it through. Finish your double crochet. Yarn over, go in the back and put it across. See, even I get screwed up. I'm trying to look in the camera. <laughs> okay, try that again. And if it's <clears throat> good grief, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I had to t take a drink of water. Um, got a little froggy in my throat. Okay, if it is a little easier, you can flip over and find that. Oops find that post and just go like that okay yarn over pull through and do your double crochet okay here's your next one put it through pull through and do your double crochet put your hook in the back Put it up through there and back down. Pull through. Do your double crochet. Okay. All right. Now you're gonna do that all the way around, and I will meet you at the beginning of the round. Okay. So I'm back to the beginning. Now, you should have probably ended with, <clears throat> excuse me, a front post double crochet. And then this um, first post that was from the last row is going to be considered your um, back, uh, your, what are you calling it? <laughs> your back post. Okay. So you're going to go up and over and do your double crochet. And then you can slip stitch to join. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oops, I lost my yarn. <laughs> okay. Now you're going to chain two. And you're going to do that round two more rounds for two more rounds. Okay. And that will give you a nice thick brim. All right. So you're going to go do you're going to see the post that's standing up standing up front and then the post that's in behind and then the post that's standing up front and the post that's standing behind and you're going to just repeat you're just going to go for the post that's standing behind you're going to do a front post right and the post that's in behind you're going to go through there and do your double crochet. Here's your front post. And then here's your back post. Now, it's kind of confusing if you look at it the way I've got it. So, you just separate it. You're going to put your hook through here. Okay. And back down there. Okay, do your double crochet. Okay, there's your front post. You're going to go underneath and double crochet. Okay, and here's the back post again. And go through here and down through here. Up through here and down through there. It's your front post. Okay. Remember, up through here, down through here. Up through here down through there and you see you've got your post on your hook. Okay. Oh, I totally lost my yarn. <laughs> gonna have to go get it. Okay, so it's going to give you this really neat, neat brim. Okay. So do that all the way around and I will see you when you get to the end. Okay, so I finished three rounds all together of the brim. Now if you wanted your hat to be a little bit shorter on the head, then just do two rounds. Okay, um, I don't mind my hats being a little more slouchy. Okay, um, so you're just going to uh, slip stitch to join. You're going to do one chain pull through and um, hmm. <laughs> I don't have my scissors isn't that funny I've got everything else but so you're going to fasten off and then you're going to weave in your ends okay and I will be right back so there you have it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye.